welcome, welcome everybody. How you guys doing today? So today is Monday and I have another video. I want to show you guys how to make a new project. So this uh, new project is going to be number nine. And I hope everybody doing okay. I, you know, this past weekend, right? We're having fun. We enjoy the weekends, you know, New Year, all that kind of stuff. So uh, I guess we got to go back to work. We got to go back to school, stuff like that, right? So uh, other than that, I want to mention that I did uh, upload the uh, Mastercam book for the Windows that you can uh, check it out. You know, I leave the link below that uh, you guys can check it out. And uh, other than that, I wanted to mention that if you guys know anybody that want to learn uh, from beginning Mastercam, please let them know and share the video. I really appreciate that. And uh, if you guys have any comment, anything for me to do, so leave anything in the comment. I will try to do my best I can to uh, get back to you guys. Okay, without further ado, let's go to a Master Cam 9 and I'm going to show you how to do a new project. Okay, now let's go over there to a Master Cam 9 and start to do that now. Okay, from here, let's go to main menu and go ahead and select F9. I'm going to click on create. We're going to use rectangle here and use one point. Okay, now this first time we're going to use 60 by 40. Just like so, and we're going to put it in the middle. And we put an origin here, we click escape, all F1, put it screen in the middle, F2. Okay, now we go back to one point, we're gonna use a 40. Okay, we're gonna use by 40 by 20, okay. Just like so, we're gonna click OK, put it in the center, just like that. Okay. Now let's go over here to one point again, okay. Gonna, we're gonna put another rectangle around it. So this time we're gonna use a, let's go, let's say 60, right? Let's go to this, let's go to 80, let's go 80, see how it go, okay? 80 by 60, okay? Just like so, just like that, okay? That's how it, that looks good. Okay, now let's go to back the main menu. The thing is, we're gonna put these uh, two circle here in each uh, in each endpoint. Okay, we can have a, a five inch circle diameter and another ten inch diameter on this uh, four corner here. Okay, all four corner, and then on this uh, inside here in this small rectangle here, we're gonna go have and make a radius, a three inch radius all around. Okay, now let's go over here and try to do that now. Let's go to create. And select an arc here and circle point diameter right here. Go ahead and put five inch diameter right here. We're gonna select an end point here, just like that, all four corner. Just like that. Okay. Now we've got to go one more. So cool point diameter. Go ahead and use 10 point here. Enter. We're gonna put the same spot. Just like that. Okay. Now we gotta make in this uh, circle, we gotta put four circle on this rectangle. Okay, to do that, we gotta go to create. We gotta make some line here. Select on parallel line and side distance, okay? So from here, you had to put 10, right? So it's a total of 20, so we split that in half, okay? like that and then we're going to make from here in the middle okay just like that we're going to make one more from this line right here but this time we're going to make a uh, five inches just like that and then from the top uh, from the top to the bottom from the bottom to the top just like that and play escape okay now we're going to put a circle right here and put a circle right here in the bottom okay Let's go to uh, create, select an arc, and circle point diameter right here. And go ahead and put two inches, okay? Two inch diameter, just like that. Just like that right there, and go ahead and click escape. On the top right here, go ahead and get the uh, delete. I'm gonna delete right here and then delete this line. Like that. 
okay? Now we're ready to trim it out, okay? okay? Let's go over here to main menu and modify and use trim. We're gonna use uh, one entity, okay? So first we gotta trim this line out with the circle here, gonna make it you know, nicer. So we start from here, first line right here, and then the circle. Second line and then the circle here, okay? Line and circle, line and circle, line and circle, line and circle. Line and circle here, line and circle here. Okay, just like that. Now we gotta do some more. We gotta this whole right. We gotta spit it out. We got okay. We gotta break it out. Okay, we gotta trim it back from right here on the top right here, and then to this line, just like so. I got this line right here, just like so. So we make one mistake right there. We're gonna come back to do that. Okay. So we start from this side, this line right there, okay? Just like that. So we come back this way right here, this line right here, just like so. So we make this mistake right here. We're gonna go ahead and delete this line right here, just like that. Go back to main menu, we're gonna select on create, click on arc, got a circle point diameter. So we put 10 inches, just like that. We're gonna come back over and put in the middle. Just like that. Okay, escape. Okay, now we gotta trim it out. Okay, modify, trim, and one entity. Okay, gonna use that right here. Just like so. Just like that. Okay, if you make that mistake, go ahead and do all, all of that. Okay, now we gotta put this rectangle right here. We gotta put a radius, right? So we're gonna use a three inch radius. Go ahead and go to a uh, modify. Click on fillet and select on radius. And in the bottom right, say enter the fillet radius. Go ahead and put three inches and click enter. It's like first line right here and the stuck line on the top. Just like that. Top and bottom right here. Okay. Just like that. Okay. And another thing that we're gonna make this neck right here, three inch radius also, all four corners, okay? I'm going to show you how to do it. So we're going to click right here, this first line right here. Then on this neck right here, we're going to select it like this, just like that. Okay. First line here, and second line there. First line right here, and second line right here. First line, and second line. First line, second line, just like that. Just like that right here, guys. So now we ready to all tool or tool cut out, okay? So now we got this four hole, this big hole right here, okay? We're gonna have to do a pocket here, okay? We're gonna use a tool, a half inch tool to do a pocket, okay? Two inch tool to do a pocket here, 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 okay? Okay, we're gonna use a half inch flat end mill, okay, my bad. It's a, use a half inch flat end mill to do this pocket here, okay? And then do this also on this right here in pocket. Okay, now go back to the main menu. Because like on two pad, it's like pocket. Okay. So we're gonna use this first, okay? We're gonna select this first, to this pocket right here. Okay, we're done with that. And we're gonna select this four hole. Just like that. Okay, now we're done with pocket. Select done. Okay, select on two library right here. Go ahead and right click. Get a tool from our library. We're gonna use a half inch flat in mill, okay? That'd be a tool 239. Right here. Like, okay. It stayed right here, it's tool number one, half inch flat. Feed rate, plunge rate, retractor rate. We go ahead and go ahead and change 7.0. Just like that. And then on the right side, spindle speed, go ahead and go to change to 2000. And then the coolant right here on the bottom, go ahead and turn it on. And then this section right here, go ahead and put rough pocket, okay? Just like that. And then on the top right here, pocket parameter, we gotta check the clearance. Make sure there's enough clearance. Okay, and on the top of the stock right here, we gotta put 1.0, we're running a, uh, a one inch material. And the depth right here, we're gonna put 
a half inch, okay? We're gonna put negative 0.5, just like so. Right here, the tip calm, we're gonna use center. And the sharp right here, we're gonna put none, okay? So we're done with this one, okay, let's go to the top. On this one right here, we're gonna use high speed, okay? And select on spindle inside to outside, okay? And a cutter compensation, we're gonna use wear. And select okay, just like that, okay? Just like that right there. Now we gotta drill a hole here, okay? Gotta drill this hole. And to do that, we gotta go to two pad, Got a drill, then select manual, just like that right here. Okay, just like that. And it's like done, Play escape. Okay, this tool right here, we gotta click on get a tool from a tool library, right? So then it's two inch uh, hole. So we've got to get a two inch drill. So let's see it. We've got a one inch drill, a two inch drill right here. See that? Okay, two inch drill, go ahead and select okay. Say right here, two, uh, two number two, two inch drill, okay. Speed rate, we're not going to change anything. Spindle speed, yes, we're going to put 200. And the coolant, go ahead and turn it on, okay? And this right here, we're gonna go ahead and say drill, just like that. And then the simple direct no peg, okay? We're gonna put right here, drill all the way through, negative 1.0, okay? Just like so. And click okay. Okay, just like that. Let's go over here to operate and see how it looks first, okay, before we go any further. Try to do the pocket right now. It looks a little bit smooth, I would say. Now you can go a little bit faster if you want, okay? It's up to you guys. There's a pocket. A third pocket. And a full pocket. Just like that, guys. Okay, now we gotta go back. Okay, we're gonna go back and then we're gonna cut it out. Okay. We gotta cut this part out, we've gotta cut this part out, okay? But before we do that, you gotta go over here and face all this part out, okay? You gotta do facing, okay? So gonna face. We gotta click on change here. We gotta start right here. Just like that. Let's click done. And right click, get a tool library. And this time we gotta use a two inch flat, okay? Right here, two inch flat. Just like that, three inch, two inch flat right here, tool number three. So the feed rate, plunge rate, we try to rate, go ahead and change that to 8.0. Eight point oh, my bad. Right there. Okay, and the spindle speed right here, we're gonna say three hundred. Okay, the coolant all return on, and this right here, we're gonna say facing. Okay, just like that. Just kind of remember what we we have to, we're doing. Okay. And then parameter right here, facing parameter. 
right here in the depth right here, we're gonna put negative 0.25. They only run a quarter, okay? And at this side, on the right side, we, wanna, we don't wanna do anything, okay? Just click okay here, just like so. And now we gotta go back to main menu and then we gotta go over here to contour. We gotta cut it out. We gotta cut this out, we gotta cut this out, okay? Now we're gonna cut it from here, just like that. And then we're gonna click from right here. Just like that. Click done. Okay, we got a half inch, we got a, a two inch, and okay, we got a two inch right here. So we're gonna right click, get a tool library. Okay. Gotta use a, uh, a 239. Okay. Two thirty nine flat in with a cut it out, having flat right here. Select that two number four having flat. We gray point gray. We go ahead and change that to eight point oh also. Like that. Okay. Change it to two thousand. Okay, change already. And this one right here, okay, gonna say finish patch. Like that. Then select on contour parameter right here. We're gonna cut it all the way through. We're gonna cut negative point, so my bad, negative 1.0, okay? And then composition direction, we're gonna left right here. And composition type, we're gonna use where. On the tip right here, we're gonna put a center. Okay, just like that. Then click okay. And now see if we, do it right, okay? Go ahead and select all and verify. And start button. Just like that. That's how it look like, guys. Okay? So this is a project number nine, okay? Now, if you guys have any question uh, regarding this, okay? Um, just leave me anything in, in comment below so I can fix it or redo it or whatever you have in mind. But it is a project and uh, people ask me, what do I call this? I call it a spender because this is a, tem a template that I use to make a lot of projects that I had done before in the past, okay? Okay, so there's a lot of people that do different things with the spindle. They don't use this pocket. What they do, they use only this right here and this rectangle and they, for their template. So this right here for me, I use it for the uh, plate that I can drill Okay, with this four hole here and this corner here. Okay, so that's what I used before. So this is just a, a project that, that you can learn how to do it or new, a new measurement that you can you can try to do it. Okay, and other than that, that's all I have guys. And I hope you guys like this video and you have anything to say, please leave in the comment. I will try the best I can to get back to you guys. And you guys have a wonderful night and thank you and good night. Bye -bye.